All right, hello again, pre-capitalist people. So this is going to be kind of a follow-up video to the previous video I did on uh, just solving right triangles using uh, trig ratios or SOHCAHTOA. Uh, and so today's video, we're going to just go through a couple of examples of really doing the same thing, but now instead of being kind of just given a triangle or something like that and solving it from there, but giving a verbal description, you know, the, the old dreaded word problem. The final, the final process is the exact same. The, the tricky part about these is reading the darn thing and drawing the picture. So uh, let's just kind of jump right in. So first question, cell phone tower is supported by a diagonal wire that is 175 feet long. Wire formed a 65 degree angle with the ground. How tall is the cell phone tower? How far from the base of the tower is the wire attached to the ground? Now, when you draw these things, listen, it's going to be a right triangle, so it does not have to be a work of art. If I'm drawing this, there's my tower, there's the diagonal wire, and there's the ground. Okay, again, if you, if you want to be fancy about it, God bless, go forward, but you don't have to be fancy. Uh, we know the wire itself is 175, so I'm going to oops, 175, put that right there. And I know it forms a 65 degree angle. And then that's, that's really it, right? So we want to find both the height. So I'm going to call this H and we want to know how far the base is. I'm going to call that X down here. So what do we do? Uh, we doesn't matter which one we find first. I'll go and find the height first might as well. Uh, but again, just like always, once you know your angle label things. So I know that's the hypotenuse. I know that's the opposite. I know that'll be the adjacent. So if I'm finding my height first, opposite and hypotenuse, that tells me I'm going to use sine. So the sine of 65 degrees would be H over 175. And that's a multiplying question. Multiply both sides by the 175. So H is 175 sine 65. And you pop that in your calculator. Make sure your calculator is degrees. Change the mode if you need to. And you should get uh, 1586.60. Uh, and then for uh, the, the length along the ground, and again, this is clearly not drawn to scale, but that's okay. The length along the ground, we do the same thing. So we, we can still use this angle. Now I've got the adjacent that I'm trying to find, and I can still use the hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse, that's a cosine. So cos of 65 is uh, x over 175. Same deal, multiply again. So x is equal to 175 cosine 65. And that would be equal to uh, 73.96 feet. So the actual finding of the values is the exact same thing that we've done before. You just got to draw the picture to do that. Okay. So if you want to pause the video real fast and do example two on your own, and then I'll go through the picture and solve in that in just one, in just about five seconds. So if I'm doing this, so again, skateboard ramp goes up at an angle of 15.6 degrees to a height of four feet. What's the length? So there's my ramp. There's the ground. I know it goes to a total height of four feet. Right angle right there. And I know it goes up at an angle of 15.6 degrees. In this case, if I'm looking for the length of the ramp, I'm using I'm trying to find that. I'm trying to find, I'll call that X. And again, label everything. That's the hypotenuse. That's the opposite. And that's the adjacent. And in this case, opposite hypotenuse again, so it's going to be sine. I promise all of them will not be sine functions, but um, so here we'll set up the sine of 15.6 degrees is equal to 4 over X. Make sure to put it in the right order. This is a division question. Basically, these two guys have switched places. 
So x is going to be equal to 4 over sine 15.6. And you pop that in the calculator, you get uh, about 14.87. So again, just drawing the picture, labeling things, and then you do it the same way using Sokotoa. Now the last two examples use, uh, use some, a little bit different terms, which you may have heard before back in your geometry days. But if you look at number three, uh, we've got an architect standing 300 feet from the base of a church. She uses a surveying tool to determine the angle of elevation, this term right here. When she's standing to the top of the steeple is 31.8 degrees, and we want, want to find the total height. So let's talk about the word angle of elevation. So that means when you see the angle of elevation, that means you're, you're talking about the ground and the angle moving up from the ground. Okay, easy as that. So if you draw a church, this is going to be lovely. There's my church, my steeple. There's the ground. Our architect is standing over here somewhere, and they're siding up to there. Okay, so again, that angle of elevation is from the ground measuring up, so that 31.8 degrees is right here. And then the 300 feet is just that length along the ground. Okay, right angle, all the good stuff like that. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find the height. So again, here's my right triangle. I know that's the hypotenuse. I don't need that, but I like doing that first. My height will be the opposite. My 300 is my adjacent. So you think of Sokotoa, which ratio would I use for the opposite and the adjacent? That would be tangent. So we have tangent of 31.8 degrees is H over 300. Multiply both sides, and then stick that in the calculator. And if you do that, you should get about 186. It's like 186.01, and we should be going up to at least two decimal points. And the last one, similar kind of question, but now we have an angle of depression. Okay, now if you have an angle of depression, what that means is from the horizontal, that angle, in this case 14.5 degrees, is being measured downward from the horizontal. So again, draw the picture and you'll kind of see what happens. So here's my airplane. This is going to be lovely. If you want an autograph picture of my airplane, please just send me a message and I'll be happy to accommodate that. Uh, and then we have the airplane, obviously, is at a, is an altitude of 15,000 feet, so that's 15,000. And then off here in the distance, the pilot sees a runway. Right? And then that's, that's kind of what they're siding towards. So what the angle of depression means is if you draw another kind of imaginary horizontal line just from the nose of the airplane, that 14.5, it's that angle right here. Okay. And what we're looking for is this ground distance. So we're looking for that distance right here. But look, the nice thing about this, if you remember your geometry days, when you have when you dealt with parallel lines and what's called a transversal, in your geometry days, you knew you found out and you proved. And you used the fact that these opposite internal angles are always the same. So if you think about it, this angle right here that goes down, that's an angle of depression, and this is an angle of elevation. So if I know this angle, I automatically know this angle. Okay, so even though we're calling it an angle of depression, we can still think of it as an angle of elevation, just so we can use kind of that quote unquote normal triangle that we have there on the bottom okay but now from here it's the exact same setup right so here's my angle 
I know the 15,000, that's my opposite side. And what I want to find, the X, is the adjacent side. So opposite adjacent, that's be another, another tangent question. So tangent of 14.5 is equal to 15,000 over X. And this is a division question or a switching question. So X equals 15,000 over tan 14.5. And if you pop that in the, into your calculator or Desmos, you get right at 58,000 feet. And if you want to know what that is in miles, you can divide that by 5280. And it's uh, pretty close to 11 miles. It's like it's uh, about 10.98 miles in the distance. Okay, so whenever you get a word problem, Draw the picture, for heaven's sakes. Uh, once you draw the picture, it's going to be a right triangle. You can label it from there, and then it's just a Sokotoa question. If you have any other um, issues or questions, please log into tutoring one morning with me or talk to your teacher. Until next time, stay safe.